This edition of the Riddler Report is brought to you by Freaking.com Ridley here signing in. So I, I sort of haven't scheduled a protest in a long time, but uh, this is a uh, litter pickup slash protest. <laughs> the, the, guy, the guys are heroically trying to do both at the same time in some cases. Uh, but what's brought folks here is uh, the same thing that's brought me here, and that is the desire, desire for independence for New Hampshire from the Union. Thanks. Yeah. Unfortunately, only one minority is well represented in the free state movement. But these guys represent it with style. It's Derek from De Derek's Jay's Victimless Crime Spree movie. And thank you for coming, Derek. Hey, Dave. Thanks for having us. Yeah, appreciate you coming out. Uh, there's a reporter here from NH1 that's uh, just interviewed me. I guess she'll interview some of the other guys too. Also, a reporter from the Concord Monitor. Uh, so, this is the federal fort, the Norris Cotton Federal Building that uh, I would like turned into a, I don't know, I would like it turned into a shopping center maybe, or an office building for non government workers. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, what were you saying? Just. Just nothing but fish and fruit is grown in that building. You think it should be a hydroponics sure. uh, zone? Okay, like organic. Yeah. Hippies. Yeah. Okay, all right. Hopefully productive, you know. So anyway, uh, we will hold signs in front of the building suggesting that the U.S. leave New Hampshire. This is what we can do today. We can't do that much more. But ultimately, if Britain can leave the EU, then NH can leave the US. One of the reasons for doing a litter pickup was sort of to send pretty clearly the message that this is supposed to be a constructive engagement, not the kind of engagement that uh, happened at Fort Sumter. I'm not sure yet what the feds would get out of uh, New Hampshire separating from the Union, but maybe there's something they can get out of it. So this is not the whole turnout, but I gotta admit it's lower turnout than I expected. I was projecting turnout of about 18. That guy just stuck his thumb out the window. Thumbs up. Now I'm sitting here with Russell from, I guess, where are you from now? I'm from Manchester. Okay, but only recently. You just got here this month, correct? Yep. Uh, now, uh, what led you to want to come here today besides me inviting you? <laughs> well, so many reasons. First off, um, less government is a better thing, since governance is the initiation of force. It is inherently immoral to govern, at least in the way that we know of it. So, uh, getting the federal government out of New Hampshire, uh, making the government smaller and more local, that's a step in the right direction. So it's sort of a first uh, in a sense that uh, we actually had quite a few more people than signs and I've never actually seen that happen at a demonstration. Even though we don't have that many people, we uh, started running out of signs. I was standing here with Kurt uh, and uh, uh, you, uh, you are running for state rep. What, yes. you, what were you selling me a minute ago? I am running for state rep for the state of New Hampshire from Manchester West uh, and I endorse the New Hampshire exit from the uh, involuntary union that is the United States. And uh, what do you think your chances are of winning? Zero. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm certainly not going Thanks to Thanks for trying, but, though. <laughs> uh, but seriously, it's, that's the beauty of New Hampshire. Anyone can run on any platform and get at least a hearing about it. Well, that's I what's like different it. about us from the federal Oh, system. absolutely. The feds, yeah. you got absolutely no chance. Yeah. There's no one, no one is going to pay attention to someone who's running for federal office that isn't backed by tons of money and not that's going to show up in a shirt and tie instead of a t-shirt. But in New Hampshire, if that's what you want, to do that's rough that's fine the speaker is right there it's a very 
<laughs> so they've, they've, they've finally been alerted to do our presence. <laughs> so. All right, so this shot, to be followed by a pan over to the other part of the crowd, is just designed to sort of give you a sense of exactly how many people were here. Uh, we might be missing one or two at this point uh, in the shot, but that's hopefully a shot of everybody. All right, thanks, Rebecca. So to my shock, even despite the small amount of traffic, there have been, uh, I guess, 10 different people now who have honked in support and no opposition. I, I would not really have expected that. What? I would have expected more uh, hostility. So, so the, uh, the monitor reporter, uh, Leah, actually speaks a little bit of Serbian. <laughs> Yeah, so we so we both had a little bit of an opportunity to uh, to uh, proxy t practice. That's Leah. She's the monitor reporter. You've seen the dramatic liberty arrests in Keene, New Hampshire. Now see 111 reasons why you should move there and reinforce these gutsy activists. Keene's advantages are compelling. For details, visit freekeen.com.